Hello. Today we're going to be going over the top five issues our users have with the T180 charger and how to fix them. And if you found the video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll be posting new videos every week. All right, so one of the most common issues uh, with the T180 charger is the process interrupt error message. Uh, so say if we're trying to charge this nickel metal hydride battery pack here and you forget to plug it in, if we try to charge it here, hold on enter, and you're gonna get this error message. And it's not gonna stop until you hit the escape button. And then all we gotta do is plug it in, make sure that snaps, try it again, and the battery checks out okay, and it'll start charging. This will also come up if one of your connections down here isn't made. So say if you bump it or if you forget to plug it in, the same error message will come up. So click that and all you gotta do is plug that back in and start over. And there it goes. So one of the common issue that uh, we come across with the T180 here is the reverse polarity error message. So this occurs when uh, you by mistake put uh, the mismatched colors of wires into the charger. So we have the black negative on the left here, the red positive on the right. And if you by mistake put them in the opposite way like this, we get this reverse polarity message. And all you gotta do is to fix that is to take it out, plug it in the correct way, and then you should be able to charge it right up. All right, so the battery high voltage error comes up if you um, put in the incorrect voltage here in the settings. So if we, by mistake, put in uh, 7.4 volts, um, instead of the 11.1 .1 that it requires. So we'll click enter. Gives you battery high voltage error message. So all you gotta do is fix that. You go into your voltage here, put in the correct voltage, and then it'll check out. You'll start charging. And the cell count error uh, comes up in two different scenarios, two most likely different scenarios. Uh, the first is has to do with the balance port connection. So right now we're in the uh, balance mode. We can turn that off if you don't want to do a balance, so that's just no balance, but we're in balance mode right now. And you forget to put in your balance connector into the balance board, and you try to connect it in balance mode we will come up with a cell count error. All you gotta do to fix that is to plug that into your balance board and then it'll turn out good. Uh, another scenario in which that will, uh, the same error will come up is if you, again, put in the incorrect uh, voltage for this battery pack. So if we put one, uh, say 4.8, volts, this is a 4S battery, and we try to uh, charge it with an 11.1 .1 volts battery pack. It'll come up with the same error message. And all you gotta do to fix that is to change it to the correct voltage. And you'll be able to charge it then. Another error message that pops up, uh, it's not too common, but it does happen. Um, if you're trying to connect the charger to a input that is outside of the support range of 11 to 18 volts. So say if we have this uh, sealed lead, a lead acid battery here, it's six volts. So it's outside of the 11 to 18 volts that's required for this charger. So if we hook this up here, we're trying to use this to charge your battery. Hook that up, and we do have the option for a DC port right here. Um, 
So we plug that in. And right away, you're gonna get this error message. And it's not gonna stop until you unplug it and plug in the uh, correct one. So we'll just go back to the wall plug here, back to the AC input. And then it should work just fine. So you can use the AC input here, or you can also use the DC. Uh, just make sure it's the correct voltage. So 11 to 18 volts. And that's it for this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please comment down below and we'll be there to answer any questions you have. And I'll see you next week.